Yoga Club. Jamie here and I am excited about this week's club as I love a good dance and will happily dance all day and night if given the chance. So that is what we've made our yoga club about this week. But before we bust out the dance moves, first let's talk yoga quest. You will love it if you haven't done it already. You get your free maps at cosmickids.com forward slash yoga quest or they're all on the Cosmic Kids app. You can download them and print them out. Each map will take you through a series of super fun yoga adventures. And by the end, you all have completed an epic quest for which you get a certificate. Loads of you have completed it already and you are all amazing. And if you haven't, well, now is the time. Now let's talk about you and have some of your brilliant messages. Hello to Lucas, age six, and Mum Amanda. Lucas, I love your suggestion of Guppy for a superhero. Guppy is the daughter of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. How cool is that? I'll check that out. Lovely to get a message from Miss Ivana and all the kids in grade 1A at the International School in AXA in Norway. How cool. I'm so glad you've been enjoying the yoga for your PE classes and I will definitely be adding more space videos. I hope you've tried all the space ones that are on there already. You've got Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey, Mike and Mutnik on the Moon, Space Picnic, Ready to Launch, The Brain Break. And if you're on the app, we have Bop the Alien. Now also, there is going to be a space-themed super yoga coming soon. And I hope I get to come to Norway one day so I can meet you all. I make the videos fun by having lots of fun. That's how I do it and I hope that answers your question. Thanks to Andrew who is seven and knows his Minecraft. Andrew would like to see a new Minecraft adventure to feature more mining, other characters like Pigman and travelling to another island to explore. There really is so much to do in Minecraft. Thank you Andrew. I loved seeing the pictures of you and your brother Leo doing the Minecraft yoga adventure. Hello and thanks to Scarlett from San Diego for writing in. Scarlett would like to see a yoga adventure about a puppy. I love it. Smitty suggests Kung Fu Panda. I love that story too Smitty and would love to do it as a yoga adventure. Hello to Lulu who is eight and lives in Long Island, New York in the USA. Thanks for all the ideas Lulu and for showing me where I can watch How to Train Your Dragon. I really need to start watching it. Loads of requests for that. Thanks to Connor who is five and wrote with an idea to do a Power Rangers yoga. That would be awesome. I'm glad the yoga has been fun for you to do when your parents have been working from home. Thanks to Lily and CJ for writing and to mum Emily. Such a lovely message. Lily, I'm definitely keen to do a dog themed yoga adventure and I am sure your two dogs would love it. And CJ, I love the idea of doing a star themed yoga adventure and a donut one too. Have a look at Diggory the Dump Truck. We have a donut character in that one. I'm really glad that you enjoyed Fernando the Silver Fox. Lovely to hear from Sanyu and Sarani, I hope I said those right, who had a great story idea about a bunny whose friends are secretly arranging a surprise birthday party for her. I also like the idea of doing an adventure to celebrate all the holidays that we have, just like you suggested. Happy birthday to Sarani for the 19th of February. Hello to Lexi who is 10 and will be 11 on the 10th of May. Lexi would like to see a Cuphead and a second Harry Potter yoga adventure and a yoga club themed around sisters. Well, that would be rather great. I love it. Fabulous Fiona, aged five, has been in touch to suggest how to train your dragon <laughs> and my little pony. I have 
I think, lost count of how many of you have been requesting these two. Loads. Thanks to both you, Fiona, and Jessica for writing. And Miss Charlotte, aged five, who has proudly just finished her yoga quest. High fives, Miss Charlotte. Also puts in a vote for My Little Pony. I need to get my people to talk to the My Little Pony people pronto. A big hello to Adam in Dublin, who is six. So good to hear you are on the yoga quest, Adam. It's such a good thing to do. I'm very proud of you and big love to your mum, Mandy. A big hello and well done to Bella, who is three and is amazing at trying things. So far, she has conquered lots of the yoga adventures and is on her way to doing them all. I am so proud of you too, Bella. You rock. Love and hello to Addy, aged four, almost five, in Anne or Arbor, Michigan. Addy, I love your idea to do a fox-themed adventure and all your suggestions of what we can ask the fox when we find it. They're great. It's wonderful to hear that you are able to count up to 11. Soon you'll be able to count up to 111. Just you wait and see. Thank you for the wonderful message. Thanks and hello to Seba, who it will be five on March the 20th. Happy birthday, Seba. Also, hello to Kai, Sarah, Ork and baby Ayla, all there in Utrecht in the Netherlands. I love your suggestions for yoga adventures, Seba, and I'm so glad to hear that you're enjoying the new Jack and the Beanstalk adventure over on the Cosmic Kids app. Big hugs and kisses to you too. Thank you, Olivia, for the gorgeous video of Paul and Ella doing their very own yoga adventure. I absolutely loved it and especially seeing how much fun you were having with it. The real highlight for me was seeing Paul doing his do 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 Dodgson. I'm so proud of you both. Thank you. And lastly, a big hello to Zoe and happy fourth birthday, Zoe, for the 9th of March. You have been a total superstar this last year, which I know has been hard, but you've been amazing at making sure you and your family are safe. So your new little brother, Leo, gets the best start in life too. Well done. Sending loads of love to you all there in Pitt Meadows, BC, Canada. Keep the messages coming, please, to me at yoga club at cosmickids.com. Now we're ready to get our dance pants on and throw some shapes. Get ready to wiggle and jiggle and yet the yoga club begin. Woohoo! everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three, one, two, three. Namaste. There, now we're ready. So let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. The amazing colours and the shapes all spinning around. Can you see the picture? Yes, look. It's a flamingo. It's Calypso the flamingo. Oh, what's Calypso doing? She's doing yoga. She's doing tree pose. Oh, how exciting. We're going to visit Calypso the flamingo. She's going to be celebrating her eighth birthday party by having a big, big, beach party. It's going to be lots of fun. Now, there's going to be lots of our friends there. Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey will be there and Stezzy the Parrot. We've been to lots of parties, haven't we? So we might be quite good at helping her get ready. Let's take an aeroplane and fly to Belize where Calypso lives. Coming up onto your knees, we take our arms wide and we drop down onto one hand and wave at the sky. We put one foot in front of our knee and shoot our back leg out behind us as we go. 
We come back to two knees again, take our arms wide, drop down onto the other side and wave at the sky. Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out to the side as we go all the way to Belize and to Coconut Beach where Calypso the Flamingo is waiting for us. She's standing very tall with her long neck and beak and she's on one leg seeing if you can catch your foot behind you trying not to wobble. When she sees us, she hops excitedly around in a circle. Oh, this is so exciting to see you! We try standing like Calypso the Flamingo. We lift up one hand and we hold on to our other foot. Oh, trying not to wobble. It's quite hard to stand like this. So we decide to sit down on our bottoms with our legs crossed. Here we go, sitting down. Now everything is ready. I've managed to put out all the drums for the music. That's great for Calypso. Let's see if we can play the drums and test them out. We reach forward and give them a play. Very good, everyone. And we have the grill all fired up and ready to cook some yummy food. We come forwards onto our elbows and we look at the crackling flames on the grill. Oh, it's going to be delicious. How about the drinks, Calypso? What are we going to have to drink? Oh, I haven't thought of that. Oh dear, well Calypso, it's getting quite late. We'd better have some ideas. Let's telephone our friends, Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey and Stezzy the Parrot. Taking your legs out long, we take hold of the telephone and we dial the number. Beep boop boop beep boop 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 beep boop boop boop. Hi Mike. Yes, we wondered whether you might be able to come a bit early so we can get some ideas for some drinks. OK, Mike. Bye. Mike's on his way. Now let's call Stezzy. Take hold of the telephone and dial the number. Hi, Stezzy. Yeah, would you be able to come a bit early? Yeah, we need some help thinking of drinks ideas. OK, see you in a bit. Bye. They're on their way. And here comes Mike now, swinging through the trees. We stand up, jump our legs wide, and we swing with our arms like a monkey. Mike does a great big monkey jump to say hello. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, we're so glad to see him. And look, on a surfboard, the coolest parrot you've ever seen, it's Stezzy. Stepping one foot forward, one foot back and bend your front knee. Take your arms wide and surf like a dude like Stezzy. He jumps his little feet the other way and surfs backwards. He gives himself a good shakedown on the beach. And we all sit down and have a good think. What on earth shall we serve for the drinks? Stezzy has an idea and tweets it to us. Wrap your arms around. I have an idea. Why don't we make the drink out of stick bugs? And he shows us a stick bug pose, just so we know what he means. Coming high on your knees, arms wide, drop down onto one hand and stretch your leg out long. Then sweep your upper arm over your ear, coming into your stick bug pose. Stick bug drink, hmm, we're not sure about that. Especially as Stella the stick insect's coming, she might not be so keen. Let's think of some other ideas. Calypso the flamingo has a suggestion and she stands up with her long neck and her beak. I'd like to suggest holding onto one leg, standing on that one leg for balance, that we have a fish cocktail for the party. She shows us a fish pose just so we know what she means. Coming all the way down onto your back, point your toes and sit down onto your elbows. Now pop pop your chest to the sky, looking up to the sky, and then all the way back behind you in your fish pose. Hmm, we're not sure about a fish cocktail, especially as Squish the fish is coming. He might not be so keen. Maybe we should think of some other ideas. <gasps> Mike, the space monkey, has a great idea. Coming up, 
He jumps up with a big jump. One, two, three. <laughs> I've got it. I think we should make the drink out of bananas and seawater. He stands up in banana pose to show us what he means. Hands above your head and leaning over one way like a banana and over the other way like a banana. <gasps> Yes, this isn't a bad idea, but we're not sure about the salt water from the sea bit. It's not very good for you. You're not supposed to drink it. Wow, we need to think of something soon. The guests will be arriving. Look, coming down the beach is a whole cast of crabs playing football. We join in with them. Coming down to sit on your bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you, pointing towards your bottom. Lift yourself up and let's digger, digger that way. Ready? Digger, 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 digger. Woo! And the other way. Digger, 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 digger. Oh! But they're not playing football with a ball. No, they're playing football with a coconut. This gives Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey a great idea. This is Coconut Beach. And yes, we could use the lovely coconut water from the coconuts in the drink. Let's try it. We climb up one of the amazing coconut trees. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. We stand very still with one foot on top of the other, hands together, growing up tall into our tree pose. Oh. We're not quite high enough yet, so we climb a little bit higher. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. We do our tree pose on the other side now, using our other foot on top, our hands together. We grow up nice and tall. Now, are you feeling like a strong coconut tree? I wonder. Let me see if I can blow you down. Ready? Doopy doopy doo. -do -do. <laughs> You are a strong coconut tree. How amazing. We stand tall on two feet. We reach up high for a big, lovely coconut and we fold all the way forwards, dropping it down to our friends Mike and Stezzy and Calypso. We jump down from the tree. One, two, three, boing and we get to work trying to open up the coconut. Sitting on our bottoms, joining the soles of your feet together, we rock it from side to side. Rocket, 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 rocket. Well, that doesn't open it. So we stand up and we jump on it really hard. Boing, 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 boing. Hmm, but that doesn't seem to open it either. Now, here's the way. We bend down, picking it up up above our heads, bending our knees, and we bash it down on a rock. One, two, three, bash! We've done it! Sitting down with your legs crossed, everyone. We drink the lovely water to try it. It's delicious. It's perfect. We rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. But it would be good to find some other bits and pieces to go in the drink. Stezzy has an idea. Wrapping your arms around. I think we should put some pineapple into it. I'll fly into the jungle and get one. Yes, Stezzy. And we spot a big pile of mangoes. Lying on your backs, bend your knees, arms down by your side. Lift your bottom all the way up, making a ginormous pile of mangoes. We sit up tall as it's time to make the drink. We get to the kitchen beach shack and we reach up high for a big pot, putting it down all the way in front of us. Very good, everybody. Now we twist around one way and we get the bananas. Here they are. Put them in. Banana, banana, banana. Then we twist the other way and we get our lovely coconut water. Coconuts water, coconuts water, coconuts water. Very nice. Now we twist the other way again to get that pineapple that Stezzy brought. Here it is. Pineapple, 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 pineapple. And we twist the other way again to get our mangoes. Mango, 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 mango. Yummy. Now we take our legs out wide and we take hold of our stirring stick and we stir it, stir it, stir it. Then we stir it with the other one, lifting it up. Stir it, stir it, stir it. 
and we test it to see if it's ready. Taking a big scoop forwards. Oh, it's a heavenly drink. It's perfect for the party and we've made it just in time. The guests are starting to arrive. It's party time! Everyone loves the drink and we decide to give it a special name in honour of our friend Calypso the Flamingo. We call it the Calypso! As the sun goes down, we dance the night away and we play a really fun game of musical yoga statues. When the music plays, we dance and when it stops, we hold a yoga pose and you can choose whatever yoga pose you want to do. Are you ready? Cue the music! Here we go, everyone! One, everyone, see if you can land in relaxation pose. <laughs> well done, everyone. We lie down in our relaxation pose and we can feel our hearts beating. Hearts beating so fast after all of that fun dancing. Ah, we catch our breath, breathing deeply and enjoying having a rest. At the end of a party, it's so good just to rest for a while. We can have so much fun, so much excitement. And so we balance that by resting, relaxing, Spending some time in calmness and peace. Hmm. And when we're ready, we start to wake ourselves up, wiggling our fingers and toes, giving our knees a big hug and rolling onto our sides coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was great. Thanks for coming to Calypso's amazing eighth birthday party. You were great. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Today, we have a funny little song to learn and sing together called the Little Green Frog Song. It's quite a funny song because you have to pull lots of silly faces, but it's really good for waking up all the muscles in your face. We'll break it down. So I'll sing a chunk and then you sing it back. Here we go. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Now together. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Great, let's move on to the next bit. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day and they all went mm -mm, ah. That little bit. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day and they all went mm -mm, ah. Great. Now the next bit. But we all know frogs go la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da. Let's do that bit together. Ready? We all know frogs go. La da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, and the last bit. 
We all know frogs go. La da 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 da, they don't go. Mm mm ah. Let's do that last bit together. We all know frogs go. La da 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 da, they don't go. Mm mm ah. Great. Now we need to put the whole thing together. Let's try. Here we go. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm -mm, ah. But we all know frogs go la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da. We all know frogs go la da 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 da. They don't go mm -mm, ah. Now I wonder if we can sing this. A little bit faster. What do you think? Shall we have a go? Ooh, okay, everyone. Muscles working. Let's go. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm -mm, ah. But we all know frogs go la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 da. We all know frogs go la da 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 da. They don't go mm -mm, ah. Right. Ha -ha. What do you say? A little bit faster. Yeah. Okay. This is about as fast as it can be. Do your best. Try and practice, and we'll get there. Here we go. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm -mm, ah. But we all know frogs go la da da la da da la da da. We all know frogs go la da da. They don't go mm -mm, ah. <laughs> well done, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, dancing, and lots of fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Washing Machine Asonga, where we do our washing machine move and our tumble dryer move. First you get into the groove with the washing machine and move. Then you build up the fire as you blow your tumble dryer. Sit down and cross your legs and put your hands behind your head. Then twist from side to side. Let the rhythm be your guide. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Let's take it to our fingers. Make like a tumble dryer. Then you blow and blow and blow and see your fingers start to roll. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a mamba. Wish a wash a samba. Wish a wash a rumba. Washing machine a song. Rolling with the limbo. Rolling to the beat of the bongo. Rolling with the mambo. Washing machine a song. Making my tummy stronger. Washing machine a song. Rumbly tumble dryer, let's take the music. Aye, wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Everybody loves to dance and spin themselves around. Twisting side to side, we love the salsa sound. Washing machine a sanga, washing machine a sanga. Rumbly tumble dryer, now we all fall over. Yoga Pose Universe. Oh. Oh.
dance a pose, raising up your arm and taking your other arm to the side like you're a waiter holding a tray. Now lifting up one of your legs and seeing if you can catch your foot in your hand. Start to kick your foot into your hand, standing strong in your standing leg, starting to tilt forward a little bit as you kick, kick, kick your leg. Now dance a pose is great for stretching the whole of the front of your body, opening your chest and your shoulders. It's also good for learning how to balance, especially if you're focusing on a little spot in front of you. It's also good for strengthening your legs and your ankles. Now let's try it on the other side, lowering all the way back down and turning around. Let's reach our other arm up, take our hand to the side, catching our foot in our hands and starting, oh, try not to wobble, to focus on a spot in front of you. Now kick your foot into your hand as you learn how to balance, staying strong and still, kicking your foot into your hand, into your wonderful dancer pose. Oh wow, all these beautiful flowers for us. We've made it, we're the stars of the show. Dancer pose. Peace out. Balloon. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to get comfy. Find a space and either lie down on your back, side or tummy, or sit cross-legged or on a chair. Take a moment now to decide which works best for you. Now you've found your spot, have a wriggle and a fidget so your body feels happy. And when you're done, say goodbye to those fidgets and hello to that lovely warm calm feeling you get when you're relaxed and your body comes to stillness. Rest and breathe gently. You can keep your eyes open for now if you like. See if you can feel your breathing. You might need to slow it down a little so you can feel what it's doing to your tummy, making it lift as you breathe in and lower as you breathe out. Next time as you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. Well done. Now you can enjoy the adventure. With your eyes closed, your mind can make the pictures for you. You are outside, in a garden, and up in the sky, you spot a red balloon floating. You can see it has a little string dangling down. It's floating down towards you. You wonder where this balloon has come from, and why is it here for you? 
Now it is right in front of you. Like it's waiting for you to take it. You reach your hand forward and take hold of the string. Now you feel the balloon start to rise again up into the sky. You don't let go. And you feel it pulling you up too. It lifts you right up onto your tiptoes. And then your feet leave the ground. And you are floating too. Just like the balloon. Where are we going, you wonder? You relax and let yourself be carried, enjoying the cool air on your skin. You see green fields down below and the trees. You are above the treetops, looking down on them. Look, just up ahead. You see your favourite place in the whole world. You decide what this place is. See if you can imagine it now. What does it look like? The balloon takes you right to it. And you are lowered gently. So you and the balloon are there now. Look around at this place. What can you see? Can you hear any sounds? Are there any people here? Or animals? Or is this a place you enjoy all by yourself? Does it have a particular smell? Or taste maybe? As you stand here with your red balloon, you soak up the goodness and joy from being here in your favourite place. How much you love it. Breathe into it. As you do, you feel completely happy. And with that happiness, you are ready to return with your balloon. It's time to come back. See if you can notice any sounds around you now. Notice your body, where it touches the ground or the chair beneath you. Enjoy a big stretch and breathe in and out. Gently open your eyes and take a second to just notice how you feel after that. Different, maybe, to how you felt before you had your peace out. It's been a real treat feeling all that happiness from visiting your favourite place. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jamie, saying peace out. <laughs>